Hello guys, it's Dale here with weekly trading ideas for this week starting today, the 15th of November 2021. Before I go into the trading ideas, I would like to announce a winner of the contest we had last time. Right now, you see the name of the person who won the contest and who won my volume profile indicator for MetaTrader for platform. So congratulations for winning in the contest and what I'll do next is I'll do another contest in the next week so the only thing which you need to do to participate in that contest is just to leave a comment below this video on YouTube and next week in the next video I'll randomly pick one person to win my volume profile indicator. Alright, so that's about the contest, let's now check out the chart. Before you those three charts are linked, they show the same trading instrument, in this case Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. The chart at the top is a 60 minute chart with weekly volume profiles, which means that each week new volume profile gets printed and shows the volume distribution throughout that week. Now this chart below that, that's a 30 minute chart where I use my flexible volume profile, it's a profile which you can move around like this, it's a pretty handy tool. And the last chart, that's also a 30 minute chart and in here I have daily volume profiles those get printed automatically every day. So the first trading idea I would like to show you is on the Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, and it is based on the volume accumulation setup. It is based on those volumes that got accumulated before the change of the trend. As you can see on the 60 minute chart, there was a downtrend and the downtrend changed into an uptrend. And before that, strong buyers were accumulating their longs. The strong buyers who changed the trend. And it was those guys, you can see them on the volume profile in here. This is before the start of the uptrend, right? So because there is the uptrend, we can tell that those volumes in this area, there were strong buyers entering their longs, accumulating their long positions, and then they manipulated the price to go upwards. They pushed the price to go upwards from this place, from this heavy volume zone. So for that reason, I think that when there is a pullback, those strong buyers will want to defend this zone, this heavy volume zone when, where they were accumulating the longs, and they'll want to push the price upwards from there again. All right, they'll want to add some more to the longs in here and then they'll push the price upwards. So that's the logic behind this support I wanted to show you. The support is at 0.9145. Now let's check out the next trading idea. And the next one will be on the Australian dollar Japanese yen. So now the charts show the Australian dollar Japanese yen. And in this case, I will be trading from the weekly point of control. So if you look at the weekly volume profile, volume profile that shows distribution of volumes throughout the whole previous week, you can see that the heaviest volume zone is in here. This is where the heaviest volumes were accumulated. Most of them were accumulated in here, in this rotation. This is it. This is that rotation. Right? And from this rotation, new strong uptrend started. So again, it's the same trading setup as in a previous case, it's the volume accumulation setup. In this case, strong buyers were building up their longs in here, and then they pushed the price upwards. So the logic behind this is that when there is a pullback, those guys will want to add some more to their longs in this heavy liquidity zone, and they'll want to defend this zone, defend their longs, which they already placed there, and they'll want to push the price upwards from there again. This is what will make this volume zone a strong support. All right, it's at 83.25. This is where the heavy volume zone begins. This is where I think that the reaction will start. And as I was saying, there's also the weekly point of control right there. So heaviest volumes throughout the whole week were traded there and that definitely adds strength to that heavy volume zone, right? So those are the reasons I think that this will work as a strong support, which begins at 83.25, right? So that's for the Australian dollar Japanese yen. And I have one more trading idea for you and it's on the Euro New Zealand dollar. 
So, now the charts show the Euro, New Zealand dollar, and what I wanted to show you in here is also a volume accumulation setup, and in this case, it's based on those volumes from which this strong buying activity started. So, again, I think those are strong buyers. Those guys were most likely building up their longs in here in this little rotation before pushing the price into this uptrend. So when there's the pullback to this heavy volume zone around 1.6193, I think that the buyers from this place will want to add some more to their longs in this heavy liquidity zone and they'll want to push the price upwards from this zone again. All right, this is what should make it a strong support. All right, so that's about the trading ideas for this video, guys. If you would like to learn more about trading with volume profile, then what I recommend is going to my website. This is it, trader-dale.com. And the next best step is go to trading course and tools. So you click that, you scroll down a bit. And what I recommend is getting the elite pack. The elite pack is an educational pack that will teach you everything there is about trading with volume profile. And there is a video which you can watch that will show you everything that's included in the Elite Pack. In short, the Elite Pack includes a video course, it includes my day trading and swing trading levels that you'll be getting each day. It also includes volume profile indicators that I developed and also a couple of bonuses. Now, at the top of that, it also includes free tech support for Elite Pack members. And what that means is that our tech support team will set up Ninja Trader A platform for you with all my indicators, they'll load up my trading workspaces, they'll connect you to data feed and they'll do it completely free of charge as that's the part of the service that we provide to the Elite Pack members. All right, so that's about it. That's about the Elite Pack and that's also about this video. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you found it useful and I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time in some next video or in our members area. And until then, happy trading.